portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Guns and Hoses. And welcome back to Local Lifestyles, everyone. You just saw we are talking guns and hoses right now, and it is almost time for that uh, very popular uh, local tri-state event right here in Evansville. Charity boxing match between local firefighters and police officers. And with us right now, uh, we've got a couple from the EFD and the EPD, Mike Doran and uh, Kelly Yard. How are you guys this morning? Good. 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 Doing good. Doing good. good. We are super excited to have you here, and we're just a little over a week away now. Can you believe it's almost here? <laughs> it's hard to believe, yeah. you know. These guys, I'm, I'm not fighting. You're not, okay. But, but uh, you know, the fighters, they've been training up and stuff. The coaches like Mike, mm -hmm. putting in the time, the sweat, and in some cases, the blood, getting ready for uh, Well, it. exactly. Kind of yeah. tell us about how long all of you guys do train for this and what goes into that, how many times a week. Like, what, what do you put these guys through? We've got a couple of uh, days a week that we train and the cops do as well, but then everybody does stuff on their own. I bet everybody's mm -hmm. family is going to be glad to get their, right. <laughs> their people back. Yeah. yeah. It's, been, it's been, we started about, uh, usually it starts around November, but we got late this year, okay. I'm going to say January. But still, people, months. People have lost a lot of weight, some mm -hmm. blood. It's how many? How many fights are there going to be this year? Fifteen. Fifteen fights. Is 15. that about normal? I mean, yes. Does it continue to grow, or does yeah, it fluctuate? Yeah, Some people complain if it gets too long. Right. Um, it depends on how short the fights are. Sometimes. Right. Well, that's true. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of depends. But that's that seems like uh, quite the number. So this is not this weekend, but next weekend, next Saturday, right. starts at seven o'clock. Um, tell everybody get there how early. you want to get there early. You can still get tickets. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But even if you have tickets, you want to get there you early. You want to get there early. You get the opening ceremonies, which is. Spectacular yeah. every okay. year. It's hard to top the year before. Um, it, it, get your seats. Mm -hmm. You don't want to miss any In of the it. action. Yeah, the whole event, right? Actually, it kind of starts this coming Friday. Oh, okay. We have the weigh-in, and you can meet the boxers, the oh. the, the ring girls and stuff, mm -hmm. and and that's at uh, Buds on the Frank, West okay. Franklin okay. Street. Okay, so that's this Friday or next this Friday? Friday? This Friday. This Friday, and then. The next Saturday the uh, is when the Saturday. actual event is. So you yes. want to still get those tickets. What is the kind of the running record right now? Who's who's in the lead? Seven the, six. I think everybody. Yeah, everybody I wins. Well, that's guns where we were hoses. going next. There, yes. There's <laughs> the official record is seven six guns. Okay, guns. Okay. So. Now, I don't want to give give you the wrong idea though. People they're out there to win. Oh yeah. for sure. Right. Well, we have the greatest respect um, well, for, each for each other. other. For each other. And we were kind of talking about this before we came out. You know, even the ones that lose, like you said, they leave with a smile on their yeah. face and that's because all of this goes to help 911 gives hope so tell everybody about that organization and how much you guys have given to them over the years oh we <laughs> over the years we've collected over two million dollars have given right. out right. over two million dollars over the years yep. local special needs uh, local kids charities right. focusing on special needs uh, police and fire mm -hmm. We try to keep all the money local. Nobody yes. gets a dollar. I like to say that I wish they'd make a T-shirt that says, I got beat up at Guns and Hoses, and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. Yeah. Right, because that's really it. Uh, and yeah. everybody really pulls the, right. pulls the weight, and uh, it's been a great experience. Mm -hmm. And a, a lot of the fighters come back. Are there, are there some fan oh, favorites yeah. this year? Oh, yes. oh sure. Oh, yeah. sure. We got a lot of experience on the uh, Hoses team this okay. year. Um, we've got... Uh, one guy's had 14, this will be his 14th Guns and really? Hoses fight. Um, yes. We've got a two-time Indiana Golden Gloves champ who's fighting on the Hoses side. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some, uh, a broad spectrum of talent. Uh, right. And we, some new yeah. faces, too, I think. Sure. We've right. got yeah. some new faces. Okay. We've got so. nine Evansville uh, firefighters fighting, which is the most we've ever had. I'm excited about that. That's awesome. Well, everybody's excited about it. Everybody gets really pumped up uh, for this event. And it is coming up next Saturday, April 9th. You can still get your tickets, and you will want to do that. Thank you both for coming in this morning. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Sid. We'll be right back after this with more likes, Lifestyles. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Guns and Hoses.